Hi and welcome to Yoga with Silla. Today we're going to be practicing a moon salutation flow. Come up to standing and let's begin. Come to the right side of the mat facing the long side of the mat. Bring your feet together starting in Tadasana. With your inhale bring your arms up with your exhale, reach to the right side, gazing up at the ceiling. Inhale, come to the center. And exhale, reach to the left side, gazing up towards the ceiling. With your inhale, come to the center. Gently reaching backwards. Inhale, come to the center. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. And take a big step to the left side. Turn your heels in, bend your elbows, bend your knees, coming into the star pose. Make sure that you're tucking the tailbone down and sinking your hips down. Bring your hands together in front of your heart and with your inhale, come up on your tiptoes. Find your goddess pose. Heels down again, opening the elbows to the sides. Star pose. Slowly come up. Close your legs just a little bit, just hip distance apart. And with your inhale, reach your arms up. With your exhale, come down into Malasana. Take a deep breath here. And as you inhale, come up. Open your legs again, coming into star pose. Another goddess pose. Star pose. And gently extend the legs. Turn your right foot to the long side of the mat as you turn your left foot to the short side of the mat. Extend your arms. Reach forward and down for Trikonasana, gazing up at your right fingertips. In your Trikonasana, make sure that you're turning your hips, you're turning your chest, and you're leaning against an imaginary wall. Slowly bring your hand down and turn your right leg slightly forward, coming into your pyramid pose. Bring your hands down, bend both knees, reach your arms up, open your heart here. And then bring your hands down inside your left foot, coming into lizard. Slowly turn your fingers and your right toes to the long side of the mat, coming into a side lunge. And then extend your legs parallel your feet, come into forward fold. Take a few deep breaths in your forward fold. And slowly with your inhale, open your heart, gaze forward. With your exhale, fold again. Bring your hands onto the sides of your pelvic bone. With your inhale, come up at once, open up like a lid. Turn your heels in, bend your knees and your elbows. Tuck the tailbone down, coming back into star pose. Hands together in front of your heart, rise up on your tiptoes, goddess pose, continue tucking the tailbone, keep an open chest, try to push the head up as if you're trying to lift something up on the crown of your head. Bring your heels down, come into star pose, extend your legs, slowly close your legs, coming into hip distance and come all the way down for Malasana. Take a few deep breaths. Inhale, slowly come up. Open your legs again, bending your knees and your elbows, finding your star pose again. Rise up on your tiptoes, hands together in front of your heart, goddess pose. Star pose again. Extend the legs and turn towards the right side this time. Reach forward and down. 
Trikonasana. Make sure that you are rotating from the hips and from the torso here, leaning against an imaginary wall behind you and gazing up at your left fingertips. Try to turn the chin up towards your shoulder. And take a deep breath. Slowly coming up, turning your hips forward, coming into your pyramid pose. You can put your hands all the way down if you feel like you're ready, if you feel that you can. But we haven't warmed up so much yet, so you can put your hands against the leg or you can have a block underneath your hands. Slowly bend your knees. Lower your left knee down, bring both arms up, coming into low lunge. Take a deep breath, opening your heart. Bring both hands down. Hands inside the right foot, coming into lizard pose. And slowly turn your hands, turn your left toes to the long side of the mat. Coming into your side lunge. Parallel your feet, extend your legs. Coming into a forward fold. Once again, take a few deep breaths here. And feel the spine decompressing. Feel the back of the legs gently stretching. And relax the body. Settle into the pose. Inhale, halfway up, gaze forward, exhale, fold. Bring your hands to your waist and with your inhale, come all the way up. Turn your heels in, bend your knees and your elbows, tuck the tailbone down, coming into star pose. Hands together in front of your heart, rise up on your tiptoes and continue tucking the tailbone down as you sink the hips, goddess. Star pose again. Extend the legs. Close your legs to hip distance apart. Come all the way down into Malasana, the yogi squat. Push the elbows into the knees. Align your wrists and your elbows. And again, with your inhale, try to extend in the spine. Try to push something up at the crown of the head. With your inhale, come up. And open your legs again, star, goddess pose, star, and slowly come up. And this time, step to the left side of your mat. With your inhale, bring both arms up. With your exhale, reach to the left side. Gaze up at the ceiling. Inhale, come to the center. Exhale, reach to the right side, gazing up at the ceiling. Inhale, come to the center and gently reach back. Inhale, come to the center, hands together in front of your heart. And take a big step to the right side. Once again, coming into star pose. By now, you know that this is how we transition. Goddess pose, star pose again. Close your legs to hip distance apart, going all the way down for Malasana. Continue extending in the spine, continue breathing deeply. With your inhale, come up. Open your legs, bend your knees and your elbows, star pose. Rise up on the tiptoes, goddess. Star pose again. Extend your legs and turn towards the right side of the mat. Trikonasana, reach forward and down. Lean back against that imaginary wall. Take a few deep breaths. And here, come up, rotate the hips, going into the pyramid pose. Bend your knees. With your inhale, bring your arms up and reach back, coming into low lunge. 
hands down, hands inside your right foot, coming into your lizard pose. And here, turn your fingers, turn your toes, your left toes, coming into your side lunge. If you want, you can try to reach your left foot with your left hand. Or you can just stay here. Turn your right toes towards the long side of the mat, parallel your feet. And then shift your weight onto your right foot, coming up on your right tiptoes. And place your heel between your two sitting bones. First, let's try the balance. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Take a deep breath here. If you open your heart, if you try to lift the head up, it's going to be easier for you to balance here. Try to activate the left leg by pressing the heel into your mat. And then place your left hand down, right arm over your head, reaching over towards the left foot. Hands down, parallel the legs, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up, gaze forward. Exhale, fold again. Bring your hands to your waist. With your inhale, come up. Turn your heels in. Going into your star pose. On the tiptoes for goddess pose. Star pose again. Extend the legs and close your legs, the hips, the hip distance apart. Come down into Malasana. Take a few deep breaths. Inhale, gently come up. Open your legs again. Come into star pose. Goddess pose. Star pose. Extend the legs, turning towards the left side of the mat. Open your arms, reach forward and down for Trikonasana. Again, lean back against that imaginary wall behind you. Take a few deep breaths. You should be feeling some stretch around here, on the right back corner of your pelvic bone. Inhale, come up. Rotate your hips, rotate your right leg and fold forward over your leg. Take a few deep breaths in your pyramid pose and try to square the hips here. Draw the right side of the hip forward. Bend your knees. Put your right knee down with your inhale, both arms up, opening your heart. And then bring your hands down inside your left foot, coming into your lizard pose. Turn your fingers, turn your right toes, coming into your side lunge. Again, if you like, you can try to reach to your right foot with your right hand. It kind of looks more aesthetic this way. Or you can just stay here. And then parallel the legs. Shift your weight to the left side. Bend your left knee. Place your left heel between your two sitting bones. And first, find your balance. Again, activate the right leg by pressing the heel down and pointing the toes up towards the ceiling. And then imagine you're carrying something up on the crown of your head. Place your right hand down, reach your left arm over your head towards your right foot. Maybe you can even reach it, but if you're going to be reaching it, don't let the head come down. Continue looking up from underneath your armpit. Both hands down, parallel the legs, come into a forward fold again. Inhale, half up. Exhale, fold. Bring your hands on the corner.
corners of your pelvic bone and with your inhale come all the way up turn your heels in bend your knees and your elbows for star pose rise up on your tiptoes for goddess pose star pose again extend the legs close your legs to hip distance apart and then come all the way down for yogi squat take a few deep breaths here you think about becoming taller think about pushing the knees away with your inhale come up and then open your legs again coming into star pose goddess pose star pose and rise up and here take a big step to the right side of your mat feet together tadasana inhale arms up with your exhale reach to the right side gaze up at the ceiling Inhale, center. Exhale, reach to the left side. Gaze up at the ceiling. Inhale, center. With your exhale, gently reach back. Inhale, come to the center. Hands together in front of your heart. And step to the left side. Star pose. Put your hands on your knees. Gently bend forward a little bit and then twist and gaze behind your right shoulder gaze up push your hands into the knees here inhale come to the center exhale opposite side this time twist towards the left side inhale come to the center star pose again Rise up on your tiptoes for goddess. Star pose. Extend your legs. Close your legs to hip distance apart. Coming all the way down for Malasana. Inhale, coming up. Come back into star pose. Goddess pose. Star pose again. Extend the legs, turning towards the left side. Push your body forward and down for Trikonasana again. Rotate from the hips, rotate from the chest. Reach up with your right fingertips. Turn your chin towards your right shoulder. Inhale, come up. This time, twist your body and bring your right hand either on the right side of your foot or on the left side of the foot for a deeper stretch. Or if it's too hard for you to reach all the way down, you can put your hand against your leg or on top of the block and then reach your left arm up gazing up at the left fingertips try to turn the hips here and then come up again rotate the hips square the hips and fold forward for pyramid pose Bend your knees, bring both arms up, reaching back, coming into your low lunge. Inhale, come to the center, put your hands down, coming into your lizard. In your lizard pose, tuck your right toes, bring your right knee up with your inhale, left arm up. And with your exhale, reach back turning all 10 toes towards the left side gazing back inhale come to the center exhale hand down and from here turn all your fingers and your right toes towards the long side of the mat towards the right side of the mat parallel your legs and here shift your weight onto the left leg sit on your heel place the heel between the two sitting bones first find the balance then place your right hand down reach over your head towards the right foot and then reach both hands to 
towards the right foot, folding over the right leg. Slowly come up, place your hands down, parallel the legs and come into your forward fold again. Inhale, halfway up. Place your left hand underneath your nose and reach your right arm up. Gently bring your right hand down, place your right hand under your face and reach your left arm up, gazing up at your left fingertips. Bring both hands down and if you want you can reach and grab your ankles and let the head go down here. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Bring your hands on the sides of your pelvic bone. And with your inhale, come all the way up. Turn your heels in. Star pose. Place your hands on your knees. Twist to the right side. Gaze behind your right shoulder. Inhale, come to the center. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale, come to the center, star pose, rise up on your tiptoes for goddess pose, star pose again, maybe sink down a little more, extend the legs, close your legs to hip distance apart, going all the way down for malasana. And here, place your right hand onto the right side, extending your arm, pushing your elbow into your knee, and reach your left arm up. Gently bring your left hand down and this time extend your left hand onto the left side, pushing your elbow into your left knee and with your right hand, gently reach up and gaze up at your right fingertips. Bring your hands in front of your heart and with your inhale, come up. Open your legs, star pose, goddess pose, star pose again. Extend the legs, turning towards the right side of the mat. Gently reach forward and down, trikonasana. Push the outer edge of the left foot down. Continue thinking about that wall behind you and continue leaning against it. Inhale, come up, gently twist and bring your left hand either inside your foot or outside your foot or if this is too hard, just against the leg and reach your right arm up, gazing up at your fingertips. Slowly come up again. Rotate your hips forward, squaring the hips, and come down for, for pyramid. Bend your knees, put your left knee down. With your inhale, reach both arms up, reaching back, coming into your low lunge. Inhale, come to the center. Hands onto the left side of the right foot. Tuck your toes, your left toes, and lift your left knee up. With your inhale, reach your right arm up. With your exhale, reach your right arm back and turn all 10 toes towards the right side, gazing at your right hand. Inhale, come to the center. Exhale, right hand down, and then turn your hands and your left foot towards the long side of the mat. Again, maybe you can reach to your left foot, or you can just stay here. Parallel your legs, shift your weight onto your right foot. Come on your right tiptoes, 
Balance here first. Bring your hands in front of your heart. And then place your left hand down. Reach your right arm over your head towards your left foot. And then bring your right hand down. Turn your body towards the left leg and fold forward. Gently come back to the center and parallel your legs again, coming into a forward fold again. Take a few deep breaths here. Inhale, halfway up. Place your fingertips underneath your shoulders. And with your exhale, dive down as if you're diving into water. And with your inhale, come out of that imaginary water. Let's repeat it a few times with the breath. Exhale, dive. Inhale, come out. Exhale, dive. Inhale, come out. Last time, stay here and place your left hand down, reach your right arm over your head and behind your back. Maybe you can reach all the way to your left inner thigh and grabbing against your inner thigh. Maybe you can turn your body more, drawing your right shoulder more to the left side. Inhale, bring your right arm up. And then place your right hand right underneath your nose, reaching your left arm up. And bring your left hand behind your back and try to find your right inner thigh. Maybe you can grab against the thigh and try to turn more, drawing your left shoulder more to the right side, gazing more towards the ceiling. And then Bring your hand down and fold forward. Maybe you can find that you're coming way more down now after you're warmed up. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold. Bring your hands onto the sides of your pelvic bone and with your inhale, come all the way up. Turn your heels in, coming into star pose. Hands on the knees, twist and gaze behind your right shoulder. Inhale, come to the center, twist and gaze behind your left shoulder. Inhale, come to the center, star pose. Rise up on your tiptoes for goddess hands in front of your heart. Star pose again. Extend the legs. Close your legs a little bit. Close your legs to hip distance apart and come all the way down for Malasana. Extend your right arm to the right side. Reach your left arm up. Bring your left hand down. Extend your left hand to the left side. Reach your right arm up. Bring both hands in front of your heart. And with your inhale, come up. And here, take a step towards the left side. With your inhale, bring both arms up. With your exhale, reach to the left side, gazing up at the ceiling. Inhale, come to the center. And with your exhale, reach to the right side, gazing up at the ceiling. Inhale, come to the center. With your exhale, reach back, opening your heart. Inhale, come to the center, hands in front of your heart and take a big step towards the right side. Turn your heels in, come into your star pose. Bring your hands together in front of your heart, rise up on your tiptoes, goddess. And then cross your arms and bring your fingertips down. Maybe you can even bend your elbows and sink your hips even lower. Find your balance again, bringing your hands in front of your heart, come up to goddess. Put your heels down, star pose. Extend your legs, 
close your legs to so hip distance apart coming down into your malasana and again extend your right arm to the side if this felt really easy for you you can try to wrap your right arm around the right knee and then either reach your left arm up or bring the left hand back try to find your fingertips or try to find your left wrist with your right hand and with the help of your hands with the help of your arms try to twist even more towards the left inhale come to the center and do the same on the left if you have done this extended variation you can do the same or you can wrap the left arm around the left knee and reach your right hand back and twist more to the right side Bring your hands together in front of your heart with your inhale, come up. Open your legs, star pose, goddess pose. Cross your arms, bringing your fingertips down. Find your balance again, coming up into your goddess. Star pose, extend the legs and turn to the right side. Gently reach forward and down for Trikonasana. Leaning against the imaginary wall again, pressing your arm against your leg and turning your chin up towards your shoulder. Inhale, come up, twist your Trikonasana, placing your left hand down or against the leg. With your inhale, come up. Bend your right knee, coming into warrior two. And here, shift your weight forward onto your right leg. If you want, you can bring your left leg a little more forward, narrowing down your stance. And then, reach down with your right hand, lifting your left leg up, placing your right hand underneath your right shoulder. If your hand is not reaching down here, you can be on your fingertips or you can use a block. And think about your left leg here. Think about your left leg stepping against the wall, dorsiflexing your foot. And whenever you feel ready, reach your left arm up. If you feel that your balance is good here, you can also gaze up towards the ceiling. Come back into warrior two. Rotate your hips forward, extend your right leg, going into pyramid. Inhale, bend your knees, put your left knee down and reach back, going into low lunge. Inhale, come to the center, hands onto the left side of your right foot, tuck your right toes. Bring your left knee up and with your inhale, reach your right arm up. With your exhale, turn all 10 toes to the right side as you reach back, following your right fingertips with your gaze. Inhale, come to the center and with your exhale, bring your hands onto the long side of the mat, turning your left foot. You can stay in your side lunge. You can reach to your ankle or your toes. And then turn your right foot gently towards the right front corner of your mat. Bend your right knee coming into Skandasana. With your inhale, extend the spine. Imagine you're pushing something up the crown of the head. Activate the left leg by pressing the heel down and turning your toes up. Put your hands down, coming into your forward fold. With your inhale, come halfway up and walk your hands forward, drawing your hips back, extending your back. Take a few deep breaths here. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders again. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Maybe you can reach to your ankles. Maybe you can put the crown of the head down. Put 
bring your hands on the sides of your pelvic bone and with your inhale come all the way up turn your heels in star pose rise up on your tiptoes for goddess pose cross your arms fall down put your fingertips down and then find your balance coming up for goddess again star pose again extend the legs close your legs coming down for malasana and again twist in your malasana you can either extend the arms or you can bind your arms around your knee inhale come to the center exhale left side either extend or bind inhale come to the center and slowly rise up open your legs star pose goddess pose star pose extend the legs and turn to the left leg open your arms reach forward and down for trikonasana inhale come up twist the trikonasana come up here bend your left knee coming into warrior two again if you want you can narrow down your stance shift your weight onto the left leg bringing your left hand down and reach your right arm up and whenever you feel ready you can turn your gaze up towards the ceiling come up into warrior two again rotate the hips forward extend the left leg coming into pyramid pose bend your knees reach your arms up low lunge inhale come to the center hands on to the right side of the foot tuck your right toes reach your left arm up turn all ten toes to the right side reaching your left arm back inhale come to the center turn your fingers turn your right toes towards the long side of the mat coming into your side lunge again if you want you can reach to your toes or to your ankle or you can just stay here and then parallel your legs a little bit but keep your left foot pointing towards the left front corner of your mat coming into your skandhasana again and here if you feel good maybe you can try to shift your weight onto the right leg maybe if this feels easy you can shift your weight onto the left leg without using your hands working on that hip mobility a little bit and then parallel the legs fold forward again inhale halfway up walk your hands forward and then draw your hips back give yourself a few deep breaths here really feeling the back of the legs and really feeling your upper back stretching inhale gaze forward and bring your knees down turning your toes to the sides of the mat and maybe you can try to open your legs wider and shift your weight forwards and backwards find wherever you're feeling the discomfort wherever you're feeling the stretch the most and try to stay there as you lower your elbows down place your elbows underneath your shoulders and maybe try to draw your hips even more towards the heels take a few deep breaths here let's try to stay for three deep and long breaths slowly bring your big toes together in the center 
and shift your weight back. If you are like me and not very flexible in the inner thighs, this may feel really uncomfortable. With the help of your breath, try to ease into the discomfort. And let's try something even more uncomfortable. With your exhale, turn the tailbone down. With your inhale, turn your tailbone up. Let's do a few more of those. And last one. And then slowly drop your knees onto your left side, placing your right hand against the left knee, reaching your left arm over your head and gazing up towards the ceiling. With your inhale, come to the center and drop your knees onto the right side, place your left hand against the right knee and reach your right arm over the head, gazing up at the ceiling. And slowly come back to the center again. Open your legs wide apart. Maybe you can shift your weight forwards and backwards. Maybe you can move the tailbone up and down again. Maybe you can bend and extend your legs, creating more space in the body. Whenever you feel ready, bring your arms up and reach to your right foot. Slowly lower your chest and find your way towards the left foot. Inhale, come up. And let's repeat four more times. Right to left, up, right to left. Use your breath with your inhale, come up. With your exhale, fold. And one last time. And let's switch direction this time. Reach towards your left foot. Lower your body and come up from the right. Use your breath. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower. And finally, when you come down, you can either reach to your toes or you can reach your arms forward. And here, doesn't matter how low you go, you can just be on your elbows. You can be staying here with the help of your hands, or you can be coming all the way down. But one thing to really make sure of is not to round the back. And try to avoid drawing the shoulders up towards the ears. Try to draw them away. Try to draw your chest forward. Take a few deep breaths here. And slowly come up. And with the help of your hands, close your legs and bring the soles of the feet together, keeping your heels away from the hip, going into the diamond pose. Fold over your legs. You can just stay here. You can support your head with your hands or you can put a block between your feet and your head. And just relax. And slowly come up. Find your way down onto the mat. Lie down on your back. And relax the body. Open your legs wider than hip distance apart. And your arms wider than shoulder distance apart. Turning your palms up. And relax for Shavasana as long as you like. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Sending you love and kindness.